Hello and welcome. We are delighted to unveil the future of Tableau, our bold vision for intelligent, actionable analytics in the flow of work. Mo, oh, hey, it's a notification. Low inventory forecast for the week ahead. What's Tableau trying to tell me? Well, I'm a retail general manager named Sam, working for Northern Trail Outfitters, and I'm responsible for running a healthy business in a tough economy with thin margins. This digest here is everything I need at my fingertips. It's an easy to understand summary of my most important metrics. And right at the top are AI powered prioritized insights. So I know where to focus. Inventory forecast is down and digital mentions are high. That's interesting. Let's drill into inventory forecast because that's concerning. And here I have everything I need to know when I need to know it. We are gonna run out of stock. Tableau has automatically forecast the future and let me know of a risk before it's happened. Right at my fingertips, expected ranges, rate of change, beautifully visualized and easy to understand. And my first question is naturally, why? What's causing this? Suggested questions help you ask the right question. So we just click, one tap, and we get that answer. What's driving decreased inventory? We can see the inventory for certain products is indeed getting quite low, and we're guided to the right next question. Let's break it down by region, though we can drill down in any way that we want. We simply tap break down by region, and just like that, we get to the next level of insight, combining in human intelligence, our hunches, with artificial intelligence. So we have sufficient stock, but not in the right markets where these products are moving fast. And normally I'd have to go to some other system, sign in somewhere, and figure out how to make this change. Meanwhile, we risk losing business. We've seen and understood the data, but often we're helpless to do anything about it. Well, thanks to Tableau Einstein, we can take action from data with one tap. See, taking action from data is how we translate insights into value. We take the next action immediately, and just like that, we've made the request in my ERP, whether SAP, Microsoft, Oracle, any external system. Tap submit request, and it's done. There's no time for lag in today's economy. We have to act right away. So we've tapped submit request, and we've put out the fire. Now it's time to root cause. And Sam asks this in her own words, the way she'd ask any colleague, what's driving this unexpected surge in demand? And right away, we find an interesting insight. Tableau Einstein shows her that low inventory is correlated to social media mentions. That's a fascinating, fascinating insight, and it's made possible through metric relationships in Tableau. See, the future of analytics is collaborative and it's multiplayer. Sam wants to confirm what she's seeing in the data. Is this a spurious correlation or something more meaningful? And Tableau Einstein connects her directly to a colleague with the expertise to help her figure that out. See, so much of the focus in analytics has been on making individuals more productive, but the friction in analytics today is often at the boundaries, the membrane of collaboration between different roles, and we're solving that with Tableau Einstein. Now check this out. I'm taking on the role now of Kyle, a brilliant marketing analyst who receives Sam's message and he can see exactly what she was asking and where she got to in her, her own exploration. This is no mere screenshot. It's a fully interactive Tableau experience. All the context is included. So Kyle replies and he engages. And he says, I see what you mean. It could be that influencers are driving a lot of digital mentions. He's got a hunch about what might be causing this. This is that human intuition. He says, let's do some quick analysis and see if they are playing a role in this increased demand. So now he's going to pick up exactly where Sam and Tableau Einstein had left off by jumping in to explore in Tableau. And now I am delighted to show you the new Tableau experience. If you've used Tableau before, you'll immediately find this familiar. We've brought forward the brilliance of Tableau's game-changing fluid analytical experiences. All the components that Tableau users are familiar with are here. Marks cards, columns and row shelves, the filter shelf, the pages shelf. We've got discrete and continuous measures and dimensions, blue pills, green pills, it's all here. So that means that for the millions of Tableau users today, there's nothing to relearn. We've been listening to you and this new experience is deeply rooted in customer and community feedback. Well, Kyle has this hunch. Do influencer posts and sentiment increase demand for certain products? So he looks and there's no metric for that in the model. So we gotta add that to the data. How do we add that to the model? Hmm, well, there's something new here. Workspaces, what are those? Introducing the new Tableau workspace, a fresh new experience for collaborating on analytics. In one place, everyone can work together. 
on the components of analytics in an expansive linked canvas. It's one spot to access all the tools you need to manage data and analytics from shared, governed, secure data connections through to prep flows, semantic models, visualizations, metrics, dashboards, analytical apps, and more. This lineage, lineage view helps you understand how all these components and assets are dependent on each other. Massive time saver. And a huge shout out to the members of the Tableau community who've partnered with us on developing this new experience. So Kyle is building on the same model that Sam was interacting with in that conversational experience. Now, the, here's the thing. He can't change that model. He's not the owner of it. Sam's not the owner of it. So what does he do? He extends it. It's no problem at all. This is self-service combined with governance. It's govern and ad hoc together. A bit like grabbing a published data source in Tableau today and adding your own calcs, but way, way better. This is composable, reusable, and extensible. So as Kyle opens the model, Tableau Einstein recommends the creation of a sentiment metric here. And that's exactly what he needs. AI is guiding him to the right tool for the job. So he clicks review. And this panel opens, the Einstein panel. This is the Einstein for Copilot for Tableau panel, which actually goes GA, is gone GA on August 16th. It is a constant AI companion helping you do your job easier, faster, and better, no matter your role. And with just a couple of clicks, that metric has been published. Now, what's cool about that is this metric is available not just for Kyle, but for anyone else with the right permission. So in the process of getting his own work done, he's helping others across the organization. Jump back into the analysis, and there's his new influencer sentiment metric. Now, I could drag and drop, but there's something new here. Over on the right, this insights panel. Many of you who've used Tableau know the Tableau features called show me and explain data. Show me is for heuristic data visualization recommendations, and explain data is for key driver analysis. Well, now we have brought that to the next level with this new insights panel, combining heuristic recommendations and traditional AI and statistics with artificial intelligence. It's evolved, not just bolted on, but infused. And this insight is meaningful. Thanks to that new sentiment metric, Tableau Einstein has identified that influencers are driving a significant amount of digital mentions and recommends we update our visualization to find that insight. So we just one tap, there it is. Fascinating, there's clearly a strong correlation at the product level, but we were talking about influencers. What happens when we bring influencer ID into the view? Drop it on detail, and wow, look at that. There's clearly something going on here. But is this correlation the case across all influencers? Well, let's focus in on the top influencers simply by selecting them. We're going to drag, we're going to drop to select those. And we can see now in the tooltip that we've selected 26 of those influencers representing about 2.4 million digital mentions. Now we can view the detailed data, keep or exclude as before, but there's a new thing here and that's publish segment. And many of you are familiar with the set feature in Tableau. When I first learned Tableau myself, I learned it was one of the most powerful features in the product for identifying cohorts and subsets of values, whether static or dynamic. Well, publishing a segment allows us to take that to the next level by publishing it to the data model. And I'll show you what that does as we publish the segment. So we'll publish the segment and anchor it on the follower ID because we want to target them in a subsequent part of our story. We'll click publish and we'll take a look at that in a second. But first, let's circle back to our colleague. Sam had asked us, what's going on here? Is there some insight that we can find? And it's very easy for us to take what we've learned, bring it back into Slack and share that. It turns out that our hunch was right. Top influencers with the highest sentiment are indeed driving a lot of digital mentions. And this new visualization is also live and interactive and built on the same exact models that Sam could follow along. And she asks, here we have that dialogue, the conversation around the analysis. Can we target their followers with a campaign? And Kyle goes, yep, I'm on it. So now let's take a look at how we can turn this analysis into action. So what are we looking at here? This is Data Cloud. It's the data platform that powers Tableau Einstein and all of Salesforce. And indeed, by making segments available here, we make this available to more than Tableau because very often people want to take what they discover through analysis and reuse it in other applications, say with their data science teams or custom applications or even external sources. So we're gonna drill into that segment. We can see that it represents about three and a half million followers. 
Awesome, fascinating. What can we do with this to reach those? See, we began this story by realizing we're running out of inventory on several products and we solve the short-term risk of a stockout. This is a good problem. Let's double down and run a campaign to reach these influencers' audiences. And with just a few clicks, we can set up that campaign to target the influencers' audiences. Using Marketing Cloud, we'll give it a title and put it in motion. So we've run our activation, we've got our campaign going. Let's flash forward a couple of days. We wanna check in on its progress. So here we are looking at all of our recent campaigns along with their responses. And at the top, you'll see something you may find familiar. This may look like CRM analytics slash Tableau. That's because this is the convergence of the CRM analytics platform and Tableau natively on the Salesforce platform, but now able to connect to even more data sources, any kind of data, whether Salesforce data or non-Salesforce data, and embeddable anywhere in any application, consumable anywhere, providing richer analysis on any data for any user anywhere. And we drill in onto these positive customer segment campaigns. And let's say interesting, here's our spring sneaker digital spotlight campaign. We go into the detail, there's a Tableau Pulse metric right alongside the campaign details so that now Tableau's intelligent actionable analytics are infused everywhere. And Sam can easily follow that metric and Kyle can follow that metric to follow the progress of the campaign. Wow, awesome. So we've covered a lot from actionable experiences, zero friction collaboration, an expansive canvas for analytics, intelligent reusable modeling, and a lot more. And there's so much more we haven't looked at yet. Tune in to Dreamforce on September 17th, 4.15 p.m. to see more about the authoring and analytical experiences. But let's continue. Let's talk about sharing. Talk about community. Let's talk about collaboration internally and externally. We have heard you and we are so delighted to preview for you the new Tableau Marketplace, leveraging the expertise of others, sharing and reusing, not reinventing the wheel. Now, I love Tableau Public, which is Tableau's open, massive free platform for sharing meaningful analysis and rich visualization about everything from movies and sports to fitness and even I think turtle migration, everything's there. Well, we plan to build on the success of Tableau Public in so many more new ways, letting you build your own brand and business, sharing your work and offering new ways to discover reusable solutions made by others. Because customers have asked us for years, how can we package and reuse and leverage the work of others? So let me show you. We can take this work that Kyle has done and we can simply publish it to the marketplace, selecting a subset of the solution, his digital mentions and sentiment analysis and visualization, along with the digital mentions semantic model, putting all that together. It's kind of like GitHub, just how when you start a new programming project, you often don't start from scratch. You go see what others have built and either fork their code or extend it. In the same way, this lets you take the work of others and extend it. So Kyle's gonna build this package, but before he publishes, he runs it through a few checks. And many of you are familiar with and love the workbook optimizer in Tableau, which proactively scans for performance risks. We've taken that further with perf checks, data security checks, and even accessibility checks built in before you share. And this one looks good to go. So Kyle then goes ahead and adds a title. So it's easy to find and easy to understand influencer sentiment and digital mentions should do, and then goes and adds a description, create ad hoc segments to drive activations and execute campaigns, and then some tags so that people can find it through faceted search, call it AI, uh, social media, and retail. What's cool here now is that Tableau Public and the, has always been about free sharing. We continue that. You can share anything for free, but now we give you the opportunity in the new Tableau Marketplace to also monetize your content, to capture the value of the rich work that you've done. So Kyle clicks Publish, and just like that, he has shared his content on the Marketplace and his new influencer segment sentiment and digital impressions analytical app is packaged up and ready for anyone else to use. We've got a great group of Tableau partners already working with us to build analytical apps on this new platform. Can't wait to see what the community creates and shares on the new Tableau marketplace. And before you ask the question, can you still share for free? Absolutely. Uh, th that open community is the foundation of Tableau. And you may also be asking, is Tableau still about data visualization? Well, absolutely. Rich data visualization, as you've seen, 
is still at the core of Tableau. You've seen that new authoring experience. It's the same visualization core engine as we've had in Tableau for years. And you may be asking, can we use this internally? Absolutely. And finally, we're building a private version that any organization can use internally. So in this demo so far, we've covered everything from intelligent integrated analytical experiences to a completely refreshed and upgraded authoring and modeling experience through to packaging, publishing, reuse, and sharing. And wait one more thing. Oh my goodness. It's another notification from Tableau that inventory forecast has returned to an expected range. Well, here we are back where we started in our summary, but this time things have turned around, sales are up, inventory is back into a healthy place, and our prospects are bright. And maybe next I'll go explore the unstructured feedback data we're getting from our customers with product ideas. Well, thankfully I've got Tableau Einstein to help me see and understand that data too, so I can take the right actions. Meanwhile, reminder, tune into Dreamforce on September 17th, 415 Pacific, or join us in person in San Francisco, San Francisco to see so much more about the upcoming release of Tableau Einstein. Thank you.